there's a, a clinical condition that we didn't cover, chronic kidney disease. So often in this protein discussion, kidney health comes up and, and I think there's sort of two sections to this. There's one um, that, that says, you know, high protein diets are bad for people with chronic kidney disease. And then there's the, the next section, which is that high protein diets are just bad for kidneys in general. And, you know, often you hear of the, the young person who went to see their doctor and their doctor found out that they were eating a high protein diet and they told them, no, that's going to be terrible for your kidneys. And um, they scared their parents and, and, you know, the parents told them to change their diet. So is there any truth to this? Do we need to be worried about protein intake at these levels that you're sort of recommending with regards to our kidney health? Um, so the simple answer is no. So where does it come from? Basically, we know that people who have end-stage renal disease, kidney failure, uh, have to reduce solutes. Their kidney's not working. So whether that's sodium and potassium or whether that's nitrogen, the kidneys just simply aren't working. So you have to reduce you know, salt intake and nitrogen intake. The question then becomes, does protein cause it? And that has been pretty clearly shown not to be the case. In fact, the, Di the National Academy of Sciences, when they were putting together DRI, specifically concluded that low protein diets actually are a bigger risk to kidney failure than high protein diets. Okay, so we're the opposite. Now we get into the situation where somebody has renal problems. Is it stage one? They have low re kidney function, stage two, stage three, stage four is failure, stage five failure. Um, that's an ongoing debate. Uh, we know that when you go from a low protein diet to a higher protein diet, the kidney actually becomes more efficient. You will clear the nitrogen out of the blood quicker on a high protein diet than you do on a low protein diet. The glomerular filtration rate actually goes up. So in a kidney situation, let's say you have stage two and you're, you've dropped your filtration rate down into 60, 70 range or something. Now, what should you do? Basically, if you lower your protein level, the kidney will shrink in size and your GFR will go down. So most people now who really are paying attention don't even consider lowering protein till at least stage three and maybe stage four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there have been multiple reviews in the last 10 years, at least four I can think of that have specifically looked at this question and resoundingly said protein does not cause kidney damage. 